नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इनलाइन फंक्शंस व्हाट इज एन इनलाइन फंक्शन इनलाइन फंक्शन वेर एवर इट इज यूज इन द प्रोग्राम इनलाइन फंक्शन वेर एवर इट इज यूज इन द प्रोग्राम द फंक्शन कॉल इज रिप्लेसड बाई द एक्चुअल कोड लेट एस टेक वन एग्जाम्पल देर इज ए फंक्शन कॉल वेलकम सपोज वाइड वेलकम this is a function what it will do it will simply display welcome to c++ this is a small function with one line welcome to c++ now in main program i am using it i call <coughs> welcome then some statements again i'll call welcome like that i can call any number of times now what happens here is now this one welcome welcome c++ so when i call welcome what happens function first of all this function address is stored on stack and control is transferred to the code after code is executed then the this address I think i'll explain again in the main function suppose i call this function welcome when i call welcome function then the current address is stored on stack then control is transferred to this code welcome code after finishing this code again the address of the main is restored from the stack and execution continues this is what happens suppose i call this function 100 times <coughs> somewhere in the program then 100 times the the address is saved restored in addition to the actual code this is actual code but for calling this function the function has to be called and then it has to return so the address has to be stored and restored so this is a small overhead actually small overhead but if it is called too many times it becomes a significant overhead but even then uh so what what is done is instead of uh, uh, having this overhead that is storing address and retrieving it this function call welcome is replaced by the actual code that is instead of uh, uh, this function call what is actually done is write directly c out welcome to c++ instead of this writing the function call <coughs> this will be written but not by the programmer but by the compiler now if you want this function call to be replaced is to be replaced by the actual code here this has to be declared as in line if you want this function call to be replaced by the actual code that is compiler replaces this function somewhere suppose i wrote welcome like this now compiler will remove this and will put its body actually that is c out welcome to c++ compiler will do this the compiler has to do this this function has to be declared as in line like this before the function definition at the beginning declare this as in line i n l i n e then function definition as usual if you do like this then whenever there is a welcome function call then the 
that call is removed and the actual code is substituted there because of this instead of calling and restoring the function that function call then bringing back the address that overhead is removed so the time is saved here so whenever there is some time critical thing we can do this this is called inline function this is for time saving we want to reduce the time where time is critical and this is usually done for small functions one line two line max three lines we cannot have an inline function for say 10 lines or even 50 lines so big functions suppose there is a function with 50 lines if we make it inline then whenever there is a function call it will copy all the 50 lines body there so code becomes too much in fact it will not happen so this inline actually is an optional thing that is even if you want even if you write inline here there is no guarantee that compiler will accept it it may or may not accept it sometimes it may not accept for example if the if the function is significant say four five lines even more compiler may reject your request and may treat it as a normal function call so when you say welcome it will call the function instead of substituting the code here so that is what is called inline functions and in a class some class suppose class a some data is there then functions are there now there are two ways of defining functions here suppose i am defining a function called show in a class void show i say c out suppose this is person class whatever i am displaying something c out say a, a variable uh, x end line so this void show function is displaying a variable called x here like this so if it is a small function i can as well write the whole definition inside the class itself this is small one or two lines function if it is a big function show means suppose my show function contains 10 lines the show function contains 10 lines i cannot write all the 10 lines in a single function in the class then class becomes too big and unreadable so in such a case what we do is we will declare the show function inside void show semicolon this is only declaration no definition inside if it is a big function then we will actually define the function outside the class so void now show you need to specify if you are defining the class the function outside the class we need to specify the class name and scope resolution a dot show so this show function belongs to class a so void a scope resolution show then write whatever function you want big function so this is another way that is defining the class inside the class or outside the class usually small functions we can do inside big functions number of lines are there then we'll do it outside now if you do this function inside definition that is void show c out just i am displaying one variable suppose single line this is one line i can do inside itself i don't have to go outside and all that so i can do inside so if you define the function inside then it is automatically in line compiler treats this function as in line even if we don't specify that in line like this even if you don't specify in line like this compiler treat it as in line if you define the function inside the class so this is about in line functions that means since this is in line wherever you use the suppose 
main function is there in this i create a class object small a suppose i say a dot show then this function call is replaced by this code this code is written here instead of this function call this is what is inline functions